We put a car on a workbench. See what happens when we get back. I'm Tim Johnson and this is Shop Tool Reviews. This is the Husky Tools 1500 pound capacity portable workbench. Now we can talk about other features, but that's the glaring one. That's the one on the first line, 1500 pound capacity. Now, Home Depot, I believe, was supposed to send me one of these and I got four. Now you don't send a car guy four work tables because I don't have anything that weighs 1500 pounds, but I do have several vehicles. They have four tires. And I happen to have one that weighs a little right around 5,000 pounds. So we thought, why not give it a shot? Four tables, 5,000 pounds, equals about 1250 a piece. So not quite the 1500 pound capacity, but a nice test. So we actually lifted this thing off the ground. It's actually a Cadillac SRX, 2005 if you want to know the details. Uh, usually somewhere around 46, 4,700 pounds. If you are checking, it is the V8 and it is the rear wheel drive. So full transmission. V8, uh, full-size car, sitting on the workbenches. Now, full disclosure, yes, we cut some three-quarter inch plywood to go on the tops because, hey, you got a router table sitting in the middle here, so a tire is going to go right through there. So the plywood's there just to disperse the weight. We lifted this car up with a car lift, put the tables underneath it, and then sat down the lift or sat down the car upon the tables. And as you can see, we didn't put the lift all the way to the ground. We just dropped it right below the car in case they did fail then the car would actually sit back down in the lift. So we we're safe as we could be. We also did not walk under the car. These are not made to work on your car. But you'll see it actually held the vehicle. Now the plywood's there really didn't add strength. It just distributed the weight evenly across the top of these tables. I was expecting some failure in the legs or somewhere where the legs actually go into the tables, but there were none. You can see when it's settling, it does start bowing a little. You see the legs do bow just a little bit but it actually held and held quite well. We actually left it on there for a couple of minutes, took some pictures, took some video. You can see it, proof's in the pudding. Uh, other features about this, about a two by three top, it's like 21 plus inches uh, by right at 35 inches. The legs tuck away underneath this really easily. You've got a handle right here you can carry it around. There's also additional stuff for clamping. Uh, you've got your metal T-slots here where you can actually clamp to the, t clamp to the table. It's ready for a router. Uh, some other hardware come in the little toolbox here that also clips under there. So really neat features on this. Again, the, the capacity on it that really surprised us all. We didn't think it'd be able to hold the car. Uh, these are $79 from the Home Depot, maybe $79.97, whatever, but just below $80 for each one of these. Uh, may seem a little bit stout for a plastic workbench, but as you can see, holds up very well. So throwing plywood, wood, things like that on here is not going to be a problem at all. So you can check them out. Husky tools are sold at the Home Depot. Also, please keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Please subscribe to that YouTube channel and have a great day.